<laughs> we have MC Yogi here with us at Wanderlust Tremblant. And we're very excited. We're just coming out of his uh, last uh, class. It was pretty uh, special. We're going to talk about that. <laughs> special, different. We like that. Um, but we're going to start first uh, about speaking about your uh, last album. Tell us about your influences for your last record, Mantras, Beats and Meditation. Uh, I, you know, I grew up listening to hip hop in the 90s. Uh, so I was a big, huge fan of Tribe Called Quest, De La Soul, Diggable Planets. Uh, so this last record, uh, which just came out this year, was really inspired by that sort of golden era of hip hop and a lot of storytelling like Slick Rick. And, uh, but really it was influenced, to be honest, by um, the Buddhist tradition and sort of combining uh, hip-hop culture with the teachings of Buddhism. And my wife, Amanda, is an amazing painter. She's painting 10,000 Buddhas right now. Yeah. We want that. Please. <laughs> Can yeah. we see that? Yeah. We should put, put, flash it on the screen right now. <laughs> yeah. And so, um, so we got really inspired in our travels in India and studying with different teachers um, by Buddhism and so it's yeah it's it's a cool it's a fun record it's a great way for people to learn about yoga philosophy and, and the buddhist teachings um through hip-hop so that's kind of cool amazing and as we all know we you are um a great artist but you're also a great yoga teacher huh. <laughs> how do you balance the two greatest job in the world wow that's a great question <laughs> they are two of the greatest jobs in the world it's true there's nothing more satisfying than teaching yoga and meditation because it's like going to the car wash. Like, you know how you feel when you get out of the car wash? Like, you look out and that's how all the people look. Like, everyone comes out of class so happy and, like, s sparkling and, like, like, and they got that new car smell, you know? Like, it's, car we say the new karma smell. So, I, I love teaching yoga and for me, performing, like, I, you know, music, music saved my life uh, as well as yoga, so... For me, being able to do the, the two together has, just, has been a li lifelong dream come true. And I feel grateful every day. I wake up so thankful. I count my lucky stars that I can uh, pursue this career. Namaste to that. <laughs> how does yoga influence your music and how music influences your yoga in the day-to-day -day life? Kind of it up. <laughs> uh, Yoga influences my music because um, through yoga and meditation, I'm able to drop in below the surface mind. So there's a lot of noise on the surface, as we all know, a lot of chatter. But yoga helps me to um, cut to the chatter to get to the heart of the matter. Like a master, read the chapter, dwell in the passion. When I drop into meditation, I begin to feel rapture. After the chatter, there's laughter, ecstasy. So essentially, it draws me into that inner energy. Most definitely, I feel so blessed to be an MC because it helps me to be a better yogi and vice versa. So, and it helps me to get through my vices with my verses. So I feel uh, they go really well together. Hip hop is about teaching. Like if you listen to like KRS-One and, and the great MCs of all time, they're great, uh, like Rakim, they're great storytellers and they're great teachers. So I don't necessarily consider myself a teacher. I consider myself more of a student, but I look to people like that as you know my influences and inspiration because I feel music is a great way to transmit a lot of information and knowledge if it's done correctly. Sounds great. Um, how would you describe uh, your style as a yoga teacher um, and artist? What can we expect when we enter one of your <laughs> class in a few words, like dancing, bouncing, clapping hands? Is it always like that? Uh, it's always different, but you know, my, my style is like a comic book style. <laughs> so it's pretty animated and it's fun, but it's also deep, you know, like a graphic novel. So. For me, um, comic books and cartoons and video games, th those were all big influences for me growing up. So I, I didn't throw them away. Like I just, I kind of spun it and use all that, you know, to help um, promote yoga and educate people about meditation and, and consciousness and self-realization. So for me, it's just fun, but it's also hopefully deep and will, will, will deliver a good experience so that you can really become calm, relaxed and awake. Beautiful. Our last question, the one that's we, it? Is the one, more? yeah, just one more. But that, that's actually our favorite. That's the question we ask 
everybody. We love to know these things. What's a typical day in the life of MC Yogi starting when the, the alarm goes on? Well, I wake up in the morning, jump off my mattress, brush my teeth and do a little yoga practice, sit and meditate to get my head straight and then I levitate to the kitchen for breakfast. My food, I bless it, chew and digest it, kiss my wife, then I move to exit. Into the day, maybe do a couple shows, rock the microphone everywhere I go, front row at the show, make the people say ho. You know, it's, that's a typical day, it's just me, basically, honest, truth be told, it's just me writing rhymes all day long. It's all I do. It's, and it's, it's a blessing and a curse because I make everything rhyme. <laughs> But it, it, keeps me, it keeps me engaged and it keeps me entertained. And so if I'm in meditation, you know, there's a lot of constellations of rhymes and I got to sort of like get past the thinking mind. So the breath is really the tool to really cut through the mind and get back to, the, to being. Um, so basically to answer your, I know it's a long way of answering your question. Well, I, I wake up. My wife Amanda and I, we love to chant, so we do like uh, rounds together where we chant together. We meditate, uh, we usually teach or practice, and you know, we travel so much, so we're usually on the road, and um, it's a lot of fun because we're constantly meeting new people and going to beautiful places, and, um, But it's always different, but it's always the same. It's different because the scenery changes, but it's the same because we do yoga wherever we go. So we always feel at home. So you're always together, you and your love. Yes. Like Just I'm like always. us. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for your time and thank you for your beautiful class and presence today. Namaste. Namaste. Big hug. <laughs> thank you.